Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This one was voted by you guys on Patreon and I have to say it is because of you guys that I know Iron Maiden so well. As I said, my Uncle Mark Bloomin loves them and I just knew he wore t-shirts with it on and didn't really like know what it was. So now I have been listening to it quite a lot. A light in the black. Or just a fear of the dark. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because there's already something really cool happening in that it really only happens in metal, but there's some amazing hooks in the guitar lines, sometimes the bass lines, and I feel like you don't get that so much in pop. Maybe in funk, you get some great bass lines in funk. And of course, there's a classic uh, Michael Jackson, Billie Jean, but most of the time it's in metal that you're hearing these amazing hooks in the instrumental parts. And I just think it's really nice to hear that rather than it being all about the vocalists. And I'm even saying that as a vocal coach. Yes, it's incredible. Hopefully soon we'll all be out doing that again. Here, he is starting quite quiet, and it's often a mistake that people make, especially with the metal genre. Everything has to be loud, and this is certainly not the case. For every genre of music, it's all about dynamics. There has to be moments of quiet so that those big moments really make an impact. Otherwise, it becomes too much like noise and not enough like music, but this is so nuanced. <laughs> When the light begins to fade, sometimes little, little story. And he is all about storytelling. When it's dark, fear of the dark, fear of the dark. I have a constant fear that something is always fear of the dark. You, fear of the dark. It's almost musical theatre in how he portrays everything. It's almost speaking and he's using slides and bits of vocal fry to make it sound gruff and uh, it's like a kind of evil, mysterious man. And you can hear a little bit of his accent in there as well, which I always love. Phobia. Much of this is spoken, like the ends of these phrases are spoken rather than sung. And again, this is a mistake that so many people make. They over sing things. They feel like every single note has to be a beautiful note. But in some ways, it can be thrown away in a speechy way as long as it means something. And that 
is a new texture uh, rather than it always having that sung sort of texture. So some points it's really open and almost operatic in style, that big wobbly vibrato. And then sometimes he is making it short and staccato and full of consonants and really pointed. And the contrast between all these different flavors make it interesting and fantastic. Now these high notes as well, those were up in a mix rather than a pushed chest voice, which is a big mistake that often people do. Or some people do go into their head voice and it's somewhere in between the two. It's so flawless, isn't it? Like pitch perfect. Yeah. See how they're spoken? The way he gets off notes is different every single time. Here the da vibrato. Slides. Sometimes it's spoken at the end, sometimes there's no vibrato. He's just mixing up. He's playing around with all these nuances. One of the things that's great about this is this is part of a live album. This is the live show and I always love it when singers can sing that well live. He's running around the stage as well and it just sounds absolutely flawless. That's rare. These days. Another great guitar. even a guitar person. Wow. I feel like it's just as well I'm sitting down because I'm like... <laughs> I love that he's on the lower running of things. So he's actually shouting up in his mix, hey, he's up here, which is helping him or getting him ready to sing in this high placement. You heard him do it earlier, just before he went to sing in that, that big high note, he did a big, yeah, when it went into the punchy section earlier on in the song. I wanted to talk about the voice aging. Now, as he's got older, his voice has got lower. And yes, that's true. And often it's kind of not true. It is that, the top part of our range or the extremes of our range often become a little closer together as we get older. Women's voices, however, generally do tend to lower. So that whole range tends to go like and gets a little bit lower there. And that is often to do with hormonal changes. Whereas men, often the range just gets a little bit smaller and actually the kind of mean point, the point where they speak often gets a little bit higher. Not everyone, but I feel like that's quite an interesting and little known fact. Everyone always assumes that it's lower.
I love his vibrato. See how open the R is? Dark. So it's quite a British way of saying it, but also he's not going on to the rhotic R because he is British, but also because it's really difficult. And um, when I'm teaching Americans, often I will get them to soften that R sound so it's not fear of the dark, R, it's fear of the dark. And then you kind of get rid of that R sound. Um, and with British people, sometimes I get to them to move a little bit more towards the American placement. Somewhere in the middle of those two accents is the sweet spot. <laughs> I wonder if he like works out. He must be so fit for that not to hinder his breathing. Because that is one of the most important things with breathing, how fit you are. And how free your rib cage is as well. <sighs> oh, I love this. So with power metal, or a lot of power metal, and especially, I mean, these guys are iconic, but it is often about a little bit more of a classical placement and a lot more space. Sometimes, if you're looking at someone like Ralph Sheepers from Primal Fear, he has a little bit more of a compressed sound, a little bit more of a smaller space, whereas his is really open and almost operatic. <laughs> get over the audience. When I'm walking a dark road, I am and back to the storytelling was I really enjoyed that. Thank you so much for suggesting it. It's always great to listen to these guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.